What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So in this video, I wanted to go over what's in my wallet. So I have my wallet here, the Buffway wallet. If you want this wallet, make sure that you check this out. The link will be in the description. Um, I'll have my whole store down there. So if you wanna check out all the stuff that I have, you know, YouTube equipment, everything, go ahead and check it out. It'll be in there, um, but this wallet is amazing. So I'm going over what's in my wallet and I'll get into that in just a second. Now, before I start, make sure you hit the like button on this video. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And remember that I do a giveaway every single single week. If you want to know about that giveaway, stick around to the end of the video and you'll hear all about it. Now, I, I've i realized um, in the last couple of months that I haven't really changed my wallets a lot because I haven't really changed too many credit cards and I haven't really had the chance to apply for other credit cards. So what I'm going to do is get into what's in my wallet in this video and then I'm going to get into basically why I haven't really added any new credit cards to my credit card portfolio. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first card I wanted to talk about was the Amex Gold card. The Amex Gold card, which is the first one right here. The Amex Gold card is an absolute workhorse for me. I love that card. Um, I use it for so many different things, but the main thing that I get out of it is obviously I get the travel credit whenever I travel, which I'm going to be traveling for the US Open. I'm going to that um, soon. Um, I also have my dining, uh, four times on dining, and I use the um, $10 credit every single month. I also use the four times on groceries a lot. Now I would get the um, Blue Cash Preferred card and then I would get 6% uh, on groceries, but I'm not really looking at that right now since I do have a lot of other cards and um, I want to really pick and choose what I'm choosing next. Um, but uh, this card is an absolute workhorse for me. I love the card, I love the weight. I get so many comments on it. Um, not recently, but I've, I've had so many comments since I've got the card. So um, that's something that I really love. The Amex Gold card, absolutely an amazing card. Check out the referral link down below if you're interested in it. Um, the next card that I have is the Wells Fargo Propel card, which is right here. Let me cover up my ID. The Wells Fargo Propel card up here. This is absolutely an amazing card. I tell you about it all the time. I have a bunch of videos on it because it gives you three times on so many areas for no annual fee. It also gives you a bonus of $200. I got basically $300. It's 20,000 points, but equivalent of $200, one cent per point. Um, but I got $300 from it because that was the initial offer that I signed up for. Um, and it's an absolutely amazing card. I can't believe that you know it has this much value to it. But there are some times where I took it out of my wallet, but it taps, it it's an amazing card. Um, you can't really beat that card when it comes to no annual fee cards. It's on everyone's list for best annual fee cards. The next card that I have in my wallet is the Discover It card. The Discover It card, which should be right here. Um, this card, the only reason I have it in here is because of groceries. Um, you get 5% back on groceries um, for the first quarter. So that's absolutely amazing. And I know that I'm gonna get a lot of value out of that. My wife and I are gonna get a lot of value out of that. And that's the only reason that I have it in there. Anytime I get some sort of category, um, we'll be able to use those cards. The funny thing is, my wife and I have two separate uh, discover accounts so she uses it and I use it and it just goes on two separate cash back forms but we're still getting five percent back so that's absolutely amazing um, the another card that I have on here is the city rewards plus I couldn't you know do anything with this so I was just gonna keep it in my wallet but I didn't city rewards plus card this is a card where I get a lot of um, points back when I'm spending on small purchases um, because I can spend a dollar and it has the roundup feature to round it up to 10 points. So basically I'm spending a dollar and getting 10 times in points. So whenever I have those type of purchases, then I always break out that card and it's a master card. Every other card that I have in here is either Amex or um, Discover. Um, so that's absolutely amazing. And then the last card that I have in here, um, surprisingly, is my PSECU card. Let's make sure no numbers are showing. My PSECU card, so this is my debit card. And I'm surprised that I have it in here, but I do. And the reason why I have it in there is just because I wasn't able to get cash out um, for the last, I don't know, uh, two months. And it's been pissing me off because every time I need to go somewhere like a golf tournament or some type of, type of thing like that, I need cash. And I've been trying to get cash out with my Amex cards and they've been making it very tough for me. Um, usually it's just generate your pin and you can go from there, but it's not always that easy. It came to the point to where I missed a payment and I'm going to admit it. I missed a payment and a day after they basically shut down, you know, cash advances because I missed a payment um, and I paid it the next day, but then it was frozen for a while and I had to go through this whole workaround for 30 minutes. I was on the phone. I just got so upset um, because they couldn't really figure it out. Um, but 
you know, that's the only problem that I really had with um, customer service when it comes to Amex. But, you know, I keep it in my wallet because, you know, I want to be able to get cash out when I can. And uh, I wasn't able to do that with my cash advances, um, even though I was going to pay it off right away. I just needed to be able to get cash out at that time to be able to do what I wanted to do um, because they took cash only, which is stupid in today's world. Sorry, I missed a card. There is the Amex green card in here, and that's a card that I've been using recently, not too much. Um, so it's really in here just in case I am doing traveling. I am planning on doing some traveling for the US Open, so this is going to be you know, some of the cards that I use for like different types of travel things. So um, that's absolutely amazing to be able to get three times on that. Um, but you know, that's pretty much my wallet, right? So all of those things, you know, the Amex Gold card, the Propel card, the Green card, the Discover It card, you know, the City Rewards, and then my debit card. You've really seen all of those cards before. It's not anything new, and I'm not bringing you anything new besides, you know, this wallet right here, which is a really good wallet, but <clears throat> I have a lot of colors of those. But um, why haven't I gotten any new cards? And one of the reasons why I haven't gotten any new cards is because of, you know, 524. When I think of 524, um, I'm like over it. So I can't get any new cards on the Chase side. My wife can. If she wanted to get a new Chase card, she can get that. But I'm not getting any new cards when it comes to 524. So that's one big reason why I don't have um, any new cards. Another reason is that I actually have too many Amex cards to receive a bonus. So I've gotten a notification um, a couple of times um, saying, hey, you know, you're over the bonus limit or whatever. You know, you, you can still apply for the card, but you're not going to get the bonus, things like that. And that's something, something that I don't want. Um, I would rather, I would love to get the bonus on any card that I get because that's usually my trial run in um, getting a card is the bonus. So the fact that I couldn't get a bonus is a reason why I didn't apply for other cards. I did have some other cards on my list, but I just didn't, you know, get them. Um, and then really the only thing that I can uh, qualify for here is like City, Discover, Capital One, those things. And um, I can't say that I really want any of those cards right now. Like I have Discover cards, like I have a Discover card, but do I want any of their other Discover cards? I mean, it's they're essentially the same thing. Um, for Capital One, I, I can't see that I want anything else. The Capital One Saver card um, really doesn't give me what I want. Um, I don't want to spend money on entertainment. Um, that's not a need category for me. I like need categories. If you don't know me, then um, I like need categories. So I really don't see anything that I want. And City will give me something that I want, but... Uh, Discover and Capital One will not. So maybe I'll make another um, city application um, type of deal. Um, if I do that, then I'll let you guys know. But right now I'm stuck. I'm sticking with the same card. So that's how it goes. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this What's in the Wallet video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button on this video. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. Um, and remember that I do a giveaway every single week. I give away two Amazon gift cards at the end of the week, and all you have to do in order to enter that giveaway is just comment on at least one video for the week, like at least one video for the week, and also be subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you do all those things and you get one ticket in the hat, but if you want multiple tickets, then just comment on multiple videos. Now remember, you have to subscribe to both of my YouTube channels, subscribe to this channel, and subscribe to this channel. If you subscribe to both of those channels, then you get you know one ticket in the hat, and then you just comment to get more tickets. Seven is the max, so comment on every video that you can, and you'll ensure seven tickets in the hat. So thank you so much again to everybody who supports me, but I'm gonna have to get out of here, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.